In this segment, we're going to talk about interlocks, how to configure them, and how to use them. To access the interlock menu, we're going to scroll over to our configuration button and click it. We're going to click Config Wizard, and we're going to enter our MSP ID number. and click check mark. Then we're going to edit to get into our existing configuration and press the right arrow key. And then we're going to click interlocks. Once we're in the interlock screen, we wanna talk about what type of different interlocks we have to offer. To do that, we're going to click add interlock. We have six different type of interlocks available and we'll go through each one. We have equipment to equipment, equipment to mode, spill over to external input, equipment to sensor, theme to sensor, and pool cover interlocks. The first interlock I'd like to discuss is equipment to equipment. This will be the most popular option in the interlock menu. We're going to select it and press the right arrow key. Once we've done that, it's going to prompt us with which piece of equipment would you like to monitor? For this example, we're going to select the blank square and we're going to monitor the filter pump for the pool and press check mark. Now that we've confirmed that the pool filter pump is the piece of equipment we'd like to monitor, we're going to select the right arrow key. Then it's going to prompt us with the interlock will take effect when the pool filter pump is, for this example, we're going to select on and press the right arrow key. Which piece of equipment will be affected is our next prompt, and we're going to select our hydro pier, our UV system for the pool. We're going to select it and press check mark. Now that we have the hydro pier selected as the piece of equipment that will be affected, we're going to select the right arrow key. It's going to prompt us with when the pool filter pump is on, the hydro pier will be forced on, and then we're going to select the right arrow key. Now it's going to prompt us with when the pool filter pump is off, the hydro pier will be, we want it forced off because we want the UV system off when there's no water running through it. Now we're going to select the right arrow key. Now it's going to prompt us with a summary of our interlock. If pool filter pump is on, the hydro pier is on. If the filter pump is off, hydro pier is off. The hydro pier cannot be controlled independently. We're going to select the house to save. The next theme we'd like to cover is equipment to mode. So we're going to select it and press the right arrow key. Which mode would we like to monitor? Pops up and we're going to select the empty box. And we're going to select pool mode for this example and press check mark. Now it's going to confirm that we want to select the pool mode and we're going to select the right arrow key. This interlock will take effect when the pool mode is on and we're going to select the right arrow key. Which piece of equipment will be affected? And we are going to select the jet pump for the spa. And press the check mark. So now it's going to confirm that the spa jets is the piece of equipment that will be affected when the pool mode is on. We're going to select the right arrow. When the mode pool mode is on, the spa jets will be forced off. We don't want the spa jets on when the pool is on. We're going to select the right arrow. Next prompt will be when the pool is off, the spa jets will be, and for this example, I might select unaffected. Right arrow, it's going to do an interlock summary of everything we just selected. If the mode is pool, then spa jets will be forced off and prevented from turning on. If the mode is not pool, the jets are unaffected. Press the house key to save. The next interlock type we're going to discuss is spillover to external input. We're going to select it, press the right arrow key. The sensor we would like to monitor is going to be our pool cover. So we're going to select that and press check mark. Now that it's going to confirm that our pool cover is selected, we're going to press the right arrow key. Now it's going to prompt us with the interlock will take effect when the backyard pool cover, for this example, we're going to say open and press the right arrow key. It's going to do an interlock summary and say if the backyard pool cover is open, the pool will not be allowed in spillover mode. 
If the pool cover is closed, spillover mode is allowed. We're going to press the house to save. Our next interlock type will be equipment to sensor. We're going to select equipment to sensor and press the right arrow key. Now it's going to prompt us with which sensor would you like to monitor? We're going to click the empty box and we are going to select water sensor for the pool, which is our temperature sensor for our pool and press check mark. It's going to prompt and make sure that that's the sensor we wanted to select and we're going to press the right arrow key. Now it's going to prompt us with the interlock will take effect when the pool water sensor reads and for this example we're going to select greater than and select the right arrow key to continue. The interlock will take effect when the pool water sensor reads greater than and we're going to select 90 degrees for this example. We're going to type in 90 degrees and press the check mark to save. We're going to continue by pressing the right arrow key. Now it's going to prompt us with which piece of equipment will be affected. We're going to select the empty box and we're going to select aerator for the pool and select check mark to save. We're going to press the right arrow to continue. Now it's going to give us another prompt that says when the pool water sensor reads greater than 90 degrees, the pool aerator, and for this example, we're going to say forced on and select the right arrow to continue. When the pool water sensor reads less than 90 degrees, the pool aerator will be, and we're going to say forced off and select the right arrow to continue. Now it's going to give us an interlock summary. If the pool water sensor reads greater than 90 degrees, the pool aerator will be on. If the water sensor reads less or equal to 90 degrees, aerator will be off. Aerator cannot be controlled independently. We're going to select the house to save. The next interlock type we're going to cover is theme to sensor. We're going to select theme to sensor and press the right arrow key. Now it's going to prompt us with which sensor would you like to monitor? We're going to select the empty box and we're going to select air temperature. We're going to press the down arrow until we see air sensor. We're going to select it and press the check mark to save. It's going to confirm that we selected air sensor. We're going to press the right arrow to continue. Now it's going to prompt us what to do with the temperature sensor. It's going to ask us the interlock will take effect when the backyard air sensor reads and we're going to say greater than for this example and press the right arrow to continue. It's now going to prompt us to select a temperature. We're going to select 100 degrees. So we're going to select the temperature, type in 100 degrees and press the check mark to save. Now it's going to read the interlock will take effect when the backyard air sensor reads greater than 100 degrees, right arrow to continue. Now it prompts us with which theme should run when the temperature sensor reads over 100 degrees. We're going to select the empty box and we're going to select our pool party theme and press check mark. It's going to confirm that pool party is what we selected. Press the right arrow to continue. Now it's going to give us an interlock summary. If the backyard air sensor reads greater than 100 degrees, the pool party will be forced on and prevented from turning off. If the air sensor reads less than or equal to 100 degrees, pool party is unaffected. To save, press the house. Our next interlock type will be the pool cover interlock. We're going to select pool cover interlock and press the right arrow key. Now it's going to ask us to select which sensor you would like to monitor. We're going to select the empty box and highlight pool cover and hit check mark to save. It's going to confirm that we selected the pool cover and we're going to hit the right to continue. Now it's going to prompt us with the interlock will take effect when the backyard pool cover is, for this example, we're going to select closed and press right arrow to continue. Now it's going to prompt us with which body of water is affected. We're going to hit the empty square and we're going to select the body of water we're going to select pool for this example and press the check mark. It's going to confirm that we selected pool and we're going to press the right arrow to continue. Now it's going to prompt us with the settings when the pool cover is closed. Our first setting will be the pump filter speed. We're going to select the empty box and select our pump filter speed when the pool cover is closed. For this example, I'm going to put in 
and hit check mark to save. Now it's going to select our heater set point. I'm going to select that empty box and I'm going to put in 55, 55 degrees for this example and hit check mark to save. Our next will be our chlorinator percentage. With our pool cover being closed, I'm going to go ahead and select that empty box and I'm going to change our pool chlorinator percentage to 20% and hit check mark to save. I'm going to hit the right arrow to continue. Now it's going to prompt us with our interlock summary. It's going to read when the pool cover on pool is closed, pool filter will run at 40%, the heater set point will be 55 degrees, and the chlorinator percentage will be 20%. If that looks good, we're going to hit the house to save.